How's it going Archi Squad? Leon here and welcome to another architecture video. So for today's video, we are going to do something SketchUp related and 360 VR related. Basically, I'm just gonna teach you guys how to render a 360 VR image with V-Ray for SketchUp. Okay guys, so for this video, there's going to be two parts. For the first part, I'm going to show you guys the VR settings that you need to input in order to come up with the VR image. And for the second part, I'm going to teach you guys how to upload that image into Facebook or how to put that image into your phone and turn your phone into a VR headset or like a VR 360 image viewer. Let's get on with it. Awkward pointing. Okay, so first thing you gotta do obviously is open your SketchUp file. Okay, once you've opened your SketchUp file, make sure that there is nothing wrong with your model. And when I say that, make sure that all angles of your model is perfect. Like there's no holes in the wall or there's no like models going through walls. Because when we render this image, not only is the viewport going to be rendered, the ceiling and the floor and the scenery behind the camera is going to be rendered. Make sure that when you look around your model, you won't see any weird anomaly thingies. Okay, when you're done checking your model and you made sure that there is no weird anomalies in your model, it is now time to change our VR settings. First thing you gotta do is open the options tab. And under the options tab, we only have to edit two options. First option we have to edit is the camera. So under camera type, change the type to a spherical camera. And then under override field of view, make sure that the box is ticked and make sure that the field of view is 359.899 degrees. Why? I don't know man, it doesn't want to render 360 degrees. So that's like the closest thing you could get to 360 degrees. Anyways, going back to the topic, after editing those options under camera type, all you got to do is make sure that the physical camera is on. And then underneath that, there's a bunch of camera settings. You could input any setting you like here. It doesn't really affect our final image. Aside from the part that it's going to be dark depending on your F number and you know all the technical camera stuff that I don't have time to explain right now because I'm trying to make this video super fast for those of you out there who are rushing. So yeah, this video is going to be super fast like... That looked weird. Moving on. Okay, so now that we're done with the camera settings, let's move on with our output settings. Okay, so under the output tab, tick on override viewport. Now that that's ticked, make sure that the image aspect ratio is 2.0 and then click on this letter L thingy bob beside it. I don't know what that stands for. Probably Lian because I'm so awesome. So once that you've got that ticked, whatever width you input, it will affect our height. So if I input 6,000 width, the height is going to be 3,000. But I typically just want the width under 5,500 so that my computer doesn't, you know, spontaneously combust because it had a hard time rendering this image, so yeah. Also, I found out that this is the best image quality to time rendering ratio thingy. Basically, what that means is you get a really good image quality for the amount of time you rendered. Now that we're done with that, just close this and click on render. 3,000 years later. Okay, once your computer is done with rendering, this is going to be our output image. So it's going to look a little bit wonky on some sides, like it's a little bit wavy. Don't worry guys, we did not make a mistake. This is how the image is supposed to look like because we made our camera a spherical type camera and our field of view is 359.899. So yeah, there's nothing wrong here. So once you upload this into Facebook, it is going to look something like this. And you can scroll around with your mouse and look everywhere. Like so, you can look down. Look to the side, check out the car and the garden hose right there and look at the dining table. So now that we've seen the output image and what it's going to look like when you upload it to Facebook, it is now time for me to teach you guys how to upload this 360 VR image into Facebook and also how to upload that image into your phone and then turn your phone into a VR headset so that you can show your clients a 360 VR experience of their house or their waiting shed or you know their toilet or whatever they want to be rendered into a 360 image let's go do that okay guys we're almost there now it is time to upload your images into facebook so in order to do that we could not just drop our image into facebook because it is going to look like this wonky image right here so in order to upload our 360 image into facebook 
The Facebook algorithm or like the Facebook thingy mo bobbins that detects images needs to detect that our image is taken with a 360 degree camera. So in order to do that, we need to visit the the sexy fur, the the, the XI fur, the X the sex sexy fur, sexy fur dot net. <laughs> That sounds like some sort of nefarious website set up by Mike Tyson. Trust me guys, it's a professional website built by professionals, so don't judge it by its name. Okay, moving on. So what you got to do is you need to open your image. So open file location. Drag that image into the xcipher.net. Okay, wait for that to upload. Six and a half hours later. Once that's done, click on exit me. So once you click that, this whole tab is going to come up. Just input into the blank beside the make Rico. And for the model, type in Rico Theta S. There we go. And that's all you got to do, guys. So click on Go Exifing. Go Exifing. It's super hard to pronounce this. Who came up with this website, man? Gosh dang it. Okay, just click that Go Exifing. Once that is done, a box will pop up saying the exif data of your file has been successfully modified. Now all you got to do is close the editor and then download it. Okay, once your download is done, just go ahead and open that. Go to your Facebook and go to home and then click on what's on your mind. Just click on photo and video. There we go. And automatically Facebook is going to detect that that image is a 360 degree image because we changed the EXIF data of it. And there we go. We have successfully uploaded a 360 degree image into Facebook. So make sure that you go to home when uploading this video guys because if you upload it in your profile, like right here, it is not going to work. So make sure you go to home and upload it in the what's in your mind section of the Facebooks. I feel like those old people calling Facebook the Facebooks. Okay guys, we are now on the final part of our video where I show you guys how to upload or how to put those images into your phone and turn your phone into a 360 VR headset thingy mo bobbins. Let's get into it, man. Okay, so first thing you gotta do is you gotta transfer your image from your computer to your phone. Okay, so once that you're done transferring your image into your phone, what you got to do is download this VR Media Player app. Okay, once that you've got that app downloaded, just click on it, wait for it to load, and on the upper left corner, you are going to see three lines. Click on that, and then click on Photo Library. Now just search for your 360 rendered image. So I have one right here. Just make sure that the lens is 360 and it is non-3D. Click that, and there we go. As you guys could see, your image can now be seen through your phone. Super awesome. Okay, so if you guys have VR goggles, you could just click on the upper right corner. You could see those goggle icon, just click that. And that is going to turn your phone basically into a VR headset, thingamabob of some sort, in which if you tilt up or down, it is going to show you what you are looking at. So you could buy VR headsets. Or if you don't have money to buy a VR headset, just put your hands in front of your eyes like this and then place your phone in front of your eyes. That doesn't really work, but you know, you ain't got money, so who are you to complain? <laughs> just kidding, guys. So in order for this to work, you need a VR headset. It's really cheap. I'll leave some links down in the description below for cheap VR headsets. And with that, I guess this is the end of the video, guys. So I'm just gonna end the video right here. I will see you guys on my next video. Arky Squad represent Flying Peace.